Today we're going to talk about what we call a send out or a go out or a for house or a go touch command or anything like that. It's used in IPO, it's used in obedience. We can also use it for our pet dogs, go to your bed or go to the crate or go to the couch or any, any command like that. Basically the go out, send out or send away, which we're going to call it different names today, has multitudes of uses, okay? In pro professional or competitive obedience, it's used for a, a send out and in IPO, it'll be used for go to um, the end of the field, but we're gonna stop you then. Or it's go over here or go over there or all these different things that the dog's gonna be asked to do. In AKC, we ask the dog to go touch or go out and then we sit the dog and then we direct and jump the dog to a different jump or a different uh, area of the ring. So. I'm going to show you this in three phases, and that's going to be one with Goofy, who's a Finnish dog who understands it. We're going to use a different technique for Goofy than we use for an intermediate dog like Jimmy and a beginner dog like Dwayne. So you're going to see this is going to be a very, very complete video that's going to encompass every single aspect of the go out command or the go to command or anything like that, whatever you want to call it. Once a dog understands this, I'm going to show you what it looks like with Goofy. So for example, with Goofy, I can use something simple like a stanchion, a PVC pipe. And remember, there's always a target for the dog. Even if the dog doesn't see the target, there is a perceived target for the dog to go touch. So for example, this is going to be a PVC. In IPO, we use a little send out pole or in AKC, we use sometimes the baby gates that are at the back of the, of the um, of the ring or uh, the stanchions or the, the PVC pipes or whatever that is. So the basic idea here for the dog is I have him in this position here and we'll go a little wider so we can see this here and the dog will be at my heel, goofy foos, and from here I'm going to tell the dog where's your touch, where's your touch, goofy touch, he touches it, yes, and he comes back to me, right? Now he's going to the carpet square because that's the way he was taught originally and then we moved him to the um, to the baby gate, but if I remove this, he's basically going to go to something that he remembers having seen, right? So for here, and I say, Goofy, heel, foos, right? And I say, where's your touch? Where's your touch? Goofy, touch. He touches it and, and stops and wonders what the command is going to be. Again, I'm going to say, Goofy, touch. Yeah, good boy. And he comes back. At this point, he's getting the reward from me, which is going to be quite different from the way we teach Dwayne or the way we, we're going to do it with Jimmy. So you'll see this whole dynamic in this video. Now I can take him back as far as I want. So this can be a real far away send out. So I can go this far away and say, Goofy, come here, Foos. Goofy, where's your touch? Yes, good boy, good boy. And while he's there, I can ask him to do something. So Goofy, Foos. Okay, where's your touch? Where's your touch? Where is it? Goofy, touch! Good boy! Touch it! Touch it! Good boy! Goofy, go touch! Good! Goofy, plots! Good boy! And he'll stay there, right? He knows that that's where I sent him, that's where his go touch is, and I can also reward him right here. Good boy, yeah. So when I first start getting him over here, I'm gonna show him, Goofy, where's your touch? And when he touches it like that with his paw, he gets the reward at the target, right? So I say, where is it, where is it, where's your touch? Where's your touch? Yeah, because he's touching, he's making contact with it, and I mark that contact with the, with the marker word, which is yes, and then the reward word, or the reward. So if I say, Goofy, touch, Goofy, touch, yes. Later, you can start shifting it back where the reward is not at the end target, and that's gonna be a little bit more complicated, but we're gonna work in through all that. These, like I said, there's three phases. There's a beginner phase, an intermediate phase, and an advanced phase. In this, the advanced phase, so you can see what it's supposed to look like, I'm showing you the two different aspects, which is one, he can get rewarded at the target, but he doesn't need to be rewarded at the target, because remember, you're not gonna be at the target you're gonna be away from the target. So the final way this looks is the, goof, the dog, Goofy, is gonna be here in a heel command, right? So watch when I get away. He can still see that post, right? Come on, foos, good. 
and I ask him, I build some kind of suspicion here, and I say, Goofy, where's your touch? Where is your touch? Where's your touch? Goofy, touch! Yeah, that's a good boy. And because he's hearing the yes, he's coming back. If I put him in the same position, Goofy, touch, here, Foos, good. Where's your touch? Goofy, touch! Good. Touch! He touches again. Touch! He touches again. In other words, he won't leave that object because he's not released right now. I haven't said the release word. Where's your touch? Touch it. He's going to keep touching it and he'll probably knock it down. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Good. Touch it. Good boy. Yes. And when he gets released, he comes back. Here, he's targeting it. Oh, where's your touch? Good boy. Goofy, touch. Sits, right? There's one obedience command. Now he should stay there. Now again, I can tell him, Goofy, touch. Good. Sits. Good. Goofy, touch. Good. Plots. Goofy, touch. Stay. Goofy, touch. Sits. Goofy, touch. Plots. Plots. Good. And from there, I can give him his reward, simply put, with which what he's used to working for is his tug toy, yes. And he's got his toy, he's done the job well, and he gets his reward there by getting his toy, and that's the last phase of it.